Come with me to check out what Target just released for back to school. I know I shouldn't say those words in the month of June, but they just brought out a whole bunch of goodies, especially if you're teaching math. Let's go check it out. If you have math manipulatives in your classroom, organization is key. They have so many bins ranging from different sizes. I like these little serving trays for fraction tiles. So I went ahead and picked up one of those. These larger bins are perfect for storing larger manipulatives, such as base tin blocks with those thousands cubes. These came in a pack of two for $5. These smaller containers are amazing. They are perfect for task cards, holding dice, they can hold a box of crayons. If you have larger task cards or just uh, puzzles that have a lot of pieces, these mesh bags are perfect for that as well. If you get anything from the Target dollar section, let it be these dry erase pockets. These are a must. These will save you so much time so that way you don't have to laminate everything. So these are snack boxes, but I'm going to use them to store place value chips. I bought two to separate whole numbers and decimals. These little wooden clips with numbers on them could make for a fun station activity. Mini erasers make for great counters. Here is a crayon sharpener, but I'm not sure how well these work. Let me know if you bought this and if it works. This caddy has a divider in the middle, so this would be great for rulers and protractors. These connecting cubes are so versatile, however, I love them for teaching volume. You can snap them together to form different size cubes. I would use this number puzzle as a math classroom decor. These will be perfect for your geometry unit and having students create different shapes. Play-Doh is perfect for creating 3D shapes as well as partitioning shapes for fractions. These are great containers for if you want to see what manipulative is actually in the container. These tactile number cards are great for lower elementary and number recognition. I'll make a part two to this video showing how I organize the manipulatives I use in order to film math content.